Hey everybody, welcome to Thingamajigger Thursday here at Tusa Acres where I go over a unique or uncommon tool once a week. So in today's episode, I'm going to be going over these funny looking players from last week's sneak peek. Take a quick look at a couple of tools that I still haven't been able to identify. And if you got any suggestions on that, please throw it down in the comments. Hey, while you're down there, please take a second to hit that like and subscribe button. Then after that, I'll lay out a bunch of the tools that we've done throughout the year. And hopefully you guys can give me some suggestions on future tools to showcase next year. All right, so here's the players from last week. They actually got some really sharp jaws in here, okay? And it actually says the York Nutsheller. These are actually pecan sheller players, or pecans, depending on where you live in the country. I'm sure some of my southern uh, viewers here have seen these used before. And really just take the edge of the, uh, the pecan, throw it in there, you clip off one side, and you clip off the other side, Okay, then you can split it right down the middle. I don't bother with trying to get it perfect. A lot of people will tell you, you wanna split it right along that seam right there so that the, actually, sorry, that seam, so that the two halves of the, the meat come out in one piece. Peel it open, there you go. Now you can either just pop it apart like so, and just pick out the pieces. Or you can try, if you want, to split it and try to get the whole piece out. And, ah, I broke it. Anyway, very good, I love, these are my favorite. I love these things. So, anyway, yeah, that's what they're for. Uh, I've been able to, in the past, get the whole, whole thing out in one piece. And uh, like that one there, some of that, uh, in uh, they call it a membrane, I think. If that comes out, that's a good sign, but if you're careful with it, crack it a couple different directions, a lot of times you can get the whole thing out in one piece. Ah, still didn't work, but it's gonna be a lot closer. So there's a nice big chunk there. It's loose, there we go, just like that. Man, these are good. Love these. My sister was uh, down in Texas for a while. She brought back like, like 10 Walmart bags full of fresh pecans. It was amazing. All right, so that was, uh, that, was that. This is made by Texas, or Texan, sorry. Texan, the York Nutsheller. I don't think you can see that. Oh, well, maybe. There it is. But you can get these on Amazon. Um, they're only like 15, 20 bucks. Something like that, not bad. And they are handy. I only use them around, sorry, Christmas time. Um, make it easier though, that's for sure. And you don't destroy the, uh, the the actual nut inside of there. All right, I'm not gonna do a sneak peek. However, I am going to throw out the two tools I was not able to identify completely. All right, sorry, I had to finish chewing those things. So this one, uh, I mentioned in uh, one of my previous videos that I joined a, uh, a oil company forum or like an oil, uh, old, old school oil product uh, forum. They sell mostly like memorabilia, like actual uh, gas pump, like old school gas pumps and clocks and stuff like that. Um, a couple of them mentioned exactly what we had discussed before. Maybe, you know, the, the pry bar end is used for opening uh, bungs or barrels. Uh, same thing for this here, uh, the bung on a barrel the hammer, maybe for pounding the uh, drum back together. I'm not really sure. Uh, I still don't have any definitive answer on that. I'm gonna keep researching it little by little. And this guy was one of the very first tools I posted, if not the first. And uh, it's definitely a puller of some sort. And uh, if you haven't watched that video, you can go check it out. It, but it's, sorry, it's really not gonna say anything different than I am here. It's got two different paws here. Definitely looks like it's meant to slide into something. I don't know what, but when you uh, retract, sorry, retracting it by screwing it in, those two little paws get retracted into the main body, like so. And it, to me, it looks like it's for like a, a wheel bearing of some sort. You would slide this into the, the bearing assembly or like the inner race, get it past where that race would be rotate it to where those jaws start getting forced out. So as, as you screw the, the inside screw here, it pushes this assembly down, which forces these feet, 
the sloped feet against the base and forces them out. That would grab onto the inside of the race right there. And I don't know exactly what the pulling force would be, but uh, that would definitely lock onto it. Maybe there was some sort of slide hammer mounted in with these rods here. There's these four quarter inch holes drilled in there where this rod can go. Um, or, or possibly it was even mounted to an actual machine, you know, a, a robot or something. But to me, it looks too old. I still have not been able to find any sort of markings on it. Um, I suppose it could be, a, a, you know, a, a custom made or handmade apparatus. It's, it's pretty intricate, though. Um, so, yeah, if you got any ideas on that, please throw it in the comments. Um, I, I can't really give you any more details. These holes right here are threaded. I don't know why they would be threaded. I don't know what they're for. Again, I'm just kind of guessing here. So that little arm, both, both the little side arms swing out. And this side has two threaded holes in it here and here. The other side does not. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just don't know, still stumped on this one. Uh, so that was the, the two things that I have not been able to identify positively. Can't let these uh, pecans go to waste here. Pecans. All right, now we'll get out the tote of completed items. That's what we're looking at here. And there's gonna be uh, several tools that are not in this bunch only because I put them back into service or put them into service. I'm gonna actually use them. Here's one of the first tools I use. It's a, a tow indicator for uh, doing um, alignments on cars. Battery cable holder straps. Looks like nunchucks, but these these were the uh, old school crosscut saw handles. That was pretty cool. Old Snoopy tool. This was a fish tape puller handle. These were uh, fuse, cylindrical fuse pullers or holders. Oh, small pair, big pair. Oh, you know what? We never positively identified these either. I'll put that with the other pile. And there we go. These ones uh, were uh, tire chain pliers. This guy, that was a cool one. This is actually a uh, engraver Brrr, kind of a thing. Uh, very unique there, never seen one of them before. This was a Bell South uh, cable crimper. Putting two cables together, you put the crimp through there and roll it. Crimp roller, yeah, that's what it's called. So there we go. Um, like I said, there's probably at least 10 or 12 tools that uh, are not here because they're back in the toolbox, uh, actually getting used, uh, or at least available for use. This guy is pretty cool. This was the uh, thread chaser for, you know, pipe, like up to four inch pipe, or no, six inch pipe, I think is what it was. Uh, sorry, inch and a quarter to five inch. But yeah, you put this around a pipe and the pipe threads and you just run it around there and it'll clean the threads up for you. So yeah, lots of unique stuff here. Um, still don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with a lot of it. Some of it's gonna stay here for sure, but uh, a lot of it I don't really have a need for. So here's 2023's tools, minus about a dozen or so. A lot of unique and really cool stuff in here. Uh, we've had a good a good year here at Two Psychers. I uh, got monetized this year. I'm still only making like 60 bucks a month, 70 bucks a month, but hey, I get to do what I like and get some money for it. Uh, hopefully next year is even better. If you got suggestions, comments, you know what to do. We wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, Hanukkah, whatever it is for you. Uh, be safe, enjoy your families, and we'll see you in 2024.